trustees of Nash Community College or the North Carolina Community College system. The views and opinions expressed on the following program do not necessarily reflect the views or opinions of Nash Community College, the Board of Trustees of Nash Community College, or the North Carolina Community College system. The views and opinions expressed on the following program do not necessarily reflect the views or opinions. We don't need no stinking podcast. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you buy a hat like this, I bet you get a free bowl of soup, huh? I'm not wearing hockey pants. I'm going to make him an offer, Captain. You play ball like a girl! Nothing but pure and simple old-fashioned communism. But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. Well, thank you very much. Can I be in charge for a while? cool that was hey cool. guys welcome to big bang cinema my name is isaac anderson and i'm just tyler uh what no dj today no nah, i'm taking the dj down uh, dj down no you're not really selling the dj down with the hood man i'm not selling it down with the hood you can take the hood off the hood, now your hair is messy oh no i got hat hair well i got hood is hair. this the same one you wore last week yes it's the same one i wore last week <laughs> is this the only one you have it's the warmest one I got. It's the warmest one you have? It was cold today. It was cold today? Yeah. Of course it was cold. I just said it. Are you warm right now? I'm really point. warm right now. It's kind of cold in here. It's kind of cold in here? Yeah. Why, why do you keep repeating everything I'm saying? I, well, you you know, sound like an echo. It sound like an echo. Gah! Gah! No, guys, uh, just in case you don't know, this is a show where we talk about movie news, movie reviews, and everything in between. Everything in between. <laughs> now, you going to do it, it's too? It's annoying, isn't it? You're going to do it's it, too? It's annoying. It's annoying, isn't it? It's a little bit annoying. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, Gosh, my hair is really messed up right now. Yeah, don't worry. Mine looks bad all the time, and nobody watches the show. No, yours is like a styled by like I don't know, like it's kind of like, like the woke up who, thing. Who, who were the, the those four guys that all the girls love? The, the boy band, <sighs> the One Direction. That's it. Yeah, I, I was gonna say boys the men, but no, uh, no. <laughs> boy, yeah. uh, <laughs> all right. Um, so guys, we're gonna okay. go on to our first segment right now. Uh, Claim director David Fincher from Gone Girl uh, Fight Club of mm -hmm. uh, Fame. We actually have a poster back here. Oh, let me hold it up. Yeah, you can well, try your best. Oh, you covered up David Fincher's face. Oh, let me get. Sorry, David. All right. How's so, that? Yeah. Well, he he directed this movie. <laughs> this movie right here. This movie. Not, My not We're not poster. talking about Brad Pitt right now. But David Fincher, uh, director of Fight Club, Gone Girl, all that jazz, uh, expressed interest in directing World War Z two, and the only one in his way is paramount and himself and himself no he wants to do it i mean i i love i love his films and i, I think I he'd be enjoy i think it, i mean like this I, have you seen world war z of course i've seen it like what do you think it wasn't the best one in the world yeah <laughs> it's not the best war movie or it's the not best the best movie yeah. or the best zombie movie yeah but um i i enjoyed it somewhat and i really like david fincher's style directing and I really think he can add something to this. The kind, of uh, kind of precision and the kind of psychological kind of element that this needs. So you think he's going to drop this for Batman? Uh, I'd, I'd rather see him do Batman than World oh, War Z. Oh, yeah. I'd, I'd rather nobody do World War Z. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, I'm, does anybody even care about World War Z, too? Guillermo del Toro, maybe. They could he would be it. a great director for that, yes. actually. Yeah. He's right. always up for doing something. I mean, well, he's too busy with Pacific Rim, like, seven, eight, nine, after, like, all the ones he's got. <laughs> Why are they even making a sequel? Because I, I, oh. it made money, and it's probably oh. going to be, like, the same. You didn't like the first one? Not. It got cool, and then it got really lame. Well, and got really that, that's beyond the point. But, um, well, yeah, like the a Power Rangers ripoff. <laughs> yeah. It was Power Rangers ripoff. It was a little bit of a Power Rangers ripoff. But, uh, yeah, are, do you, would you rather, like, uh, um. David Fincher direct this, or would you rather someone else do it? I'd rather someone else do it. All right, if you had to pick one, who would you pick? I would, Guillermo, no, wait, wait, are we talking about Pacific Rim? Are we no, girl, about, uh, World War Z. Oh, uh, World War Z, Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo del Toro? Because I want David Fincher to hit up Batman. I want him to hit up Batman, too. I want too. him to hit up Batman. Especially since Ben Affleck's not doing it anymore. Oh, I know. I think he would be perfect for that and give us something different. See, give us the detective Batman we've always wanted to see. Now, what if he gets Matt Damon on the project, him and Matt Damon direct it? For World War Z or Batman? For Batman. 
<laughs> it would be interesting. It'd How do you like them apples? It'd be, like, it would, it'd be very Boston. <laughs> very, very precise shots. How do you like them apples? <laughs> uh, uh, very, yeah, very, uh, very precise direction shots and be very Boston. And Batman is a, is a janitor. You can smell night. the clam chowder clam in, in the shots. Yeah. Uh, the no. Where are the khakis to Batmobile? Where are my, where are my khakis to the Batmobile? No, no. That, that's, uh, that's Midwestern. <laughs> oh, well, it's close enough. K khakis. The khakis. Say khakis. Khakis. That's car keys khakis. in Boston. Khakis, yeah. Yeah. No, you no. think pants, but it's car keys. All right. So uh, we're moving on right now to uh, Mr. Jack Nicholson himself, the great acclaimed actor, is um, coming out of retirement. And the second best Joker. And the second best Joker? You know, I, I would say that too. But he's coming back into acting to star in a remake of a movie called Tony, uh, Tony Erdman? Erdman. I, I've never heard of it, so I don't, I don't really know it's a whole a lot about it. sounds German. It's German, yeah. It's German. Um, I think this is actually perfect for something like, somebody like Jack Nicholson, but what do you think? I'm up for it. You're I, up for I, it? I'm a fan of Jack Nicholson. I, I, like, I, like, I, like, that, I like that creepy face he does. The creepy face? When that's, he's, that's, just his, look, yeah. that's just his face. Yeah, it's creepy. That's just his face. He's just happy. But it's creepy, but it's cool creepy. That's the face of a man that was in the movie The Bucket List. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> just like, the bucket list. He's, kind, he's kind of got that look, kind of like they screwed up his order at McDonald's. It's the, the Ben Affleck after Batman v Superman face. Like, it just didn't turn out the way he wanted to. Extreme disappointment, but you're still happy that you didn't And all those it. hands were all the hands that were like, Trying to get in his life, and he just kind of left. Nah, nah, you're, you're reaching on this one. Uh, oh, because there was hands in there. Yeah, you're reaching. Oh, oh that was a good no, one. No, but uh, I'm really excited for him to come back to acting. Uh, if I he am. came back to acting, well, it's, he's such a great actor. Another one flew over the cuckoo's nest. I want that yeah. to happen. Uh, no. Like a sequel, like, like he's back in the middle hospital. No. But Bruce Willis is in it, and it's a crossover. Was me and my Shyamalan directing this? Yeah, it's got so it's twelve monkeys and one flew over the cuckoo's nest crossover. Uh, Jack Nicholson, uh, Bruce Willis. Is David Fincher going to direct this and drop out of Batman and World War Z for this? No, I'm probably going to get uh, Kevin Smith to do this. Kevin Smith. That sounds something like he would do. Yeah. If he follow up the Tusk. But yeah, if, he, if he's coming. <laughs> if, he, if, yeah, if he's coming back uh, to acting for this, it must be really good. He must like the script. Uh, I, I actually read quotes where he actually really likes the script. Can he speak German? I don't think it's going to be in German. I think it's going to be you in English. You think we can get him on the show and ask him if he speaks German? Dude, it's hard enough to get like Chef Frank Brookhart on the show. <laughs> yeah. He's right down get, the hall. I'm about to say he's right down the hall. How do you think we're going to get Jack Nicholson? <laughs> oh, we'll uh, we'll promise him a lot of money and then not return get him a lot on of money. It. Uh, how about? Ow! All right. So uh, uh, moving on right now. Uh, Michael F Fassbender's ex-girlfriend, Alicia Vikander, or they might still be together. Who knows? Uh, mm. She's going to be starring in a new Tomb Raider um, remake. And this is a photo of her oh, that just oh came out. Oh, Lord. Mm. Oh, you haven't seen that? No, I've what seen kind that. of microphone is that? That's such an interesting microphone. I know. Look at that bow. That's so Look at cool. that bow. Look at that. I mean, look what, at that. Uh, that's not a hammer. Is that a Sennheiser microphone? Uh, I thought that was a hammer. Someone's about to hit it with a hammer. Is she in this photo? I'm too busy looking at this awesome microphone. Look at that mic. What kind of boom mic is that? How, how many? What kind of preamp are they using on that microphone? What do you think? Are you telling me that's a mark? That is a. That is a no, a, but. And, and also. Microphone. That's it, a microphone. No, no it's Alicia Vikander. No, I thought it was like a giant hammer or something. I have no idea. <laughs> it's a it's a boom mic, but uh, I, I have what is a boom mic? It it's a microphone. Don't, don't, don't worry about. Don't you worry about. Okay, it. it's but what, what do you think about Alicia Vikander as a uh, new Tomb Raider? I have no idea. I have I, I don't even have I seen anything she's in. Oh, she was in some. She's in. She's one of those artsy people. She was in Ex Machina. Oh, that's the one about the the creepy. Robot. robot. Yeah, she played the robot. She was really good in that. Yeah, it was really creepy. Yeah, I that was one of my favorite movies of that year. Oscar Isaac and uh, Donald Gleason. You guys haven't seen Ex Machina. Go see Ex Machina. It's really good. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, I I think she's a really good actor. She was also in uh, Jason Bourne, mm -hmm. the one I fell asleep in. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, it's a, it's a few movies. But, uh, uh, at least you remember that one. I really, I, I really don't remember any of it. But uh, I remember she was in it. But um, I remember Brad Pitt was not in it. Brad Pitt was not in it. Was not in it. But yeah, I think she'll do good. But why do we need a Tomb Raider remake? Because they remade the game, I guess they're gonna kind of follow the new movies with the games. I, but but it, it's, the, it's video huge. game movies never turn out well, though. I mean, oh, Assassin's Creed that that was like what the game made. Yeah, you, you could smell the sarcasm over here. Uh, no. One more Oh, I didn't even see Assassin's Creed, but I, I, I've, I've heard so many bad things about it, I just don't want to waste my time. I heard it's, heard it's the greatest video game movie ever made. That's not saying much. That's yeah. like saying, like, this is the best, you know, 
McDonald's hamburger I've ever had. It's really not. It's 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 a it's a load of garbage in that. Well, this is the best critic TV show anybody's ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. uh, slamming us hard. Uh, slamming no, us hard. I think she's a well enough uh, rounded actor. I don't know who's directing it. I don't really know a whole lot about the whole project. I tend not to because I don't really care. Yeah. But um, yeah, Alicia Vikander is a good enough actor where she can pull this off. But I haven't seen the uh, first one in a while. I know mm -hmm. Daniel Craig's in it. I know Angelina Jolie's in it. But who knows? I forgot Maybe. Daniel Craig was in that. Yeah, Daniel Craig was he, in he's it. He's one gets knifed in the stomach, isn't he? Oh, spoiler alert. Uh, spoiler, it's been out for 20 years. Oh, shut up. No, but um, uh, it is what it is. I think she'll do fine. Movie will do fine. It'll probably come out sometime in summer. Is make she make about $2 million dollars for the studio, and they'll probably never make another one. If she can act as good as she looks, I'm all up for the movie. Uh, that would sell it. Yes. But uh, moving on right now. So, uh, coming in with uh, the Lego universe is the Lego Ninja Go movie. Was it <laughs> Ninja Go? Ninja Go. I I they want, say it in the trailer. I keep wanting to say Ninja Go. But, uh, it's speaking spelled about the, Ninja Go. Speaking about the trailer, in case you guys haven't seen it, here it is. Go Ninja Go. thing you said what that last part I didn't catch it well I, I, I didn't say anything what do you mean I didn't well, I, I said I'll be waiting and then I stopped talking dad Le Lloyd that's right your son and it's Lloyd no L L O Y D I named you you ruined my life Pfft. that's not true I haven't even been a part of your life how could I ruin it I wasn't even there baby now we got bad luck I've taken the Salomo to form the secret ninja force. Are you ready to risk your life for Ninjago? Yes, I am on it. Yes. Ah, yep. Maybe. Garmadon! Ah! Garmadon! Garmadon! Run! I'm stuck! I know you want me to save myself, so I'll go now. I promise I'll never forget you! I didn't ask you to promise that! Come back! Hello? Who is this? Lloyd Garmadon, your son. Mm, I must have butt dialed you. <sighs> Lad, run, cause baby, you know we got bad love. You know we used to be bad love. It's okay, Lloyd. Nobody's parents are perfect. I mean, my mom is weird and collects seashells. Your dad levels cities and attacks innocent people. So, they've all got their quirks, you know? We got bad blood. It looks pretty funny. Oh, I, I don't really know, man. Um, like, so you thought it was funny. I thought it was pretty funny looking. Yeah, it had me at the beginning. Um, this is kind of like the first time I watched this trailer. I watched a little bit of it. And uh, I gotta say, man, I, I don't know. Um, I, I feel like, of course, everyone knows the Lego movies are made for kind of like the marketing. It's, it's shame. toys. Yeah, it's to sell toys. It's a movie to sell toys because you know they're going to have, uh, you know, Lego oh. Ninjago stuff up there. Ninjago. Ninjago, I know. He said it in the trailer. I, Ninjago. I, the, you know, the Lego Ninjago said, oh, look, we got the new character. We got, you know, Dave Franco's character. You said Dave Franco's in the Sounds thing. like Dave Franco. Sounds yeah, like Dave Franco. Like I don't Dave know Franco. if it's him. But I mean, they got Taylor Swift playing. It's like, and oh Jackie look, we're Chan. fun, you Jack know. Oh, that was a terrible song. Is it, well, that's beyond the you know the point of the trailer. It's just kind of trying to market as many people as they can. And they had Jackie Chan. And I, it's just they pretty much. And they had Jackie Chan. They had Jackie Chan. Yeah, yeah. I'm always gonna see if it's got Jackie Chan in it. But I mean, the trailer. Look, I imagine the movie will be good. We're gonna go see uh, the Lego Batman movie tonight for next week's show. Oh yeah, Lego Batman. Uh, we'll talk about that later. But um. Yeah, the first Lego movie I really enjoyed. It was very smartly written. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, Phil and um, Chris Miller, uh, what was, uh, the, the uh, Lord and Miller. Chris Pratt. Yeah, no, Lord and Miller, the guys that directed oh. it. Uh, uh, Lord and Miller did a really good job on that. 
Uh, I imagine the Lego Batman movie is going to be good. Haven't seen it. I like the trailers. I've heard a lot of good things about it. But I don't know about this one. Is this going to get old after a while, all the Lego stuff? Well, has Marvel got old after a while? Uh, I think so, yeah. It's just, we're starting to get a little bit of fatigue with the movies. I think that's a big thing. Uh, it's starting to happen. And, of course, they stopped it by reinventing themselves. And Marvel's done really well at that trying to uh, hire different directors to give their uh, unique visions and new characters. But I mean, it's the same kind of thing. It's like just Legos all in this mm. universe. And how many movies can we make like this before people start getting tired of it? Oh, it's probably gonna go, it's probably gonna start like this, kind of dip down once it gets to a point. It's just gonna go like this, it's just direct. It's, see, like the Lego movie, again, that was most likely- Direct ma- DVD th- That was like a shameless marketing movie too, but it at least had a really good plot. It was very well directed, very well put together. A great animation, great story. It's really heartwarming. Anybody can really enjoy that movie. Lego Batman movie looks pretty much the same. Looks like it came from a creative spark rather than try to sell toys. But this one just kind of looks like it wow, was- Wow, you are really prattling on here. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it was made, this one was just made <laughs> to sell toys. It doesn't look like a creative spark came from this, but that's just my opinion. I saw it and I'm like, wow, it looks pretty funny. Uh, Kids would like to see it. I would like to see it. I like Legos. I play with them when I, well, not now, but I played when I was real little. (laughs) I really enjoyed them. And then I see those ninjas and then I hear Dave Franco. Dave Franco's funny. Is that a funny looking plot? It's gonna be so funny. Uh, We we gotta, uh, we're gonna check during the break uh, if Dave Franco's in this, but uh, overall, I think- $10 Dave Franco's in this. I'm not gonna bet $10 right now. Because you're probably right. $10 will be Franco. not going to right now. No, no, no. Right now. Just do a gentleman's bet. What? Gentleman's bet's no money. No. (laughs) No, $10. Whatever. Okay. But yeah, overall, I, this doesn't feel as fresh as the uh, the first movie. Hopefully, it you know well, doesn't. Well, a sequel never feels as fresh as the first one does. Well, I mean, this rarely, this doesn't feel rarely. like a creative spark came from it. But I mean, guys, tell us what you think. Uh, BBR request mm-hmm. at nashcc.edu. And he will check the emails. I will check the emails. I will. We not. would love to hear what you guys think about it. Tell us what you thought about all the other segments. You excited that David Fincher is involved with World War Z two? Do you think you, Dave Franco's in the Lego Movie? <laughs> do you want Jack Nicholson to? come back from acting in this movie. Do you want Alicia Vikander to be in the new, oh, she's already in there, no, doesn't matter what you say. <laughs> yeah, but guys, yeah, email us anytime. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching so far. We're gonna take a really quick break, but once we come back, we got a really cool segment, guys. Stick around. I'm winning that 10 bucks, right? In a world where some things are beyond legend, they will search for answers. Be prepared. Hang on to your seats. They are going where no one has gone before. Until now. Why are you so close to me? I don't know. Let me back up a little bit. Yo, check out our show on Big Bang Radio. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. Hey, this is Mike D, inviting you to join me for Ultimate Alternative, Fridays at 2 on Big Bang Radio, or anytime on the Ultimate Alternative Podcast. Come with me now.
right, guys, oh. we're back with Big Bang Cinema. My name is Isaac Anderson. And I am just Tyler. Ah, uh, and no DJ this time, man. No DJ. All right, so guys, Super Bowl was on Sunday. I don't know if you watched it, but it was pretty interesting. I watched it. And every single year during the Super Bowl, we get a lot of cool movie trailers that come out around this time of year. And I get 40 bucks for gambling. So, <laughs> why you got to bring that up? Oh, I did. Uh, okay, it's so. Out there. So, a few days ago, I decided to go around campus and ask a few of you guys, which brings us to this week's segment, Campus on whatever we called it. I was not involved. <laughs> yeah, so basically, it's just me talking around campus. Uh, we filmed it. We had a lot of fun. You guys enjoy. Hey, guys. Isaac Anderson here with Big Bang Cinema. We're going to go around the campus right now and I'll talk to people about the Super Bowl trailers that happened this Sunday. Now, there's a lot to choose from, and most of them probably haven't seen it. But is that going to change us? No, it's not. Most people don't really care. I don't really care either. But we're going to do it anyway. Come on, let's go. I decided to kind of go around the campus and just ask random people what they thought of the movie trailers that were played during the Super Bowl. But no matter what, I promised myself I would be respectful and honor whatever they said. The question we're asking everybody around campus is, what was the favorite movie trailer they played during the Super Bowl? Uh, that's going to be hard to say. You really want to know? I, I really do. I didn't really like what this guy had to say, so I decided to leave him there and go to someone else. Favorite movie trailer? Um, okay, I think this was like one of the first movie trailers that they played. I don't know the name of it, but it was like a female, and it's like her body was like breaking. I got really bored with this guy's lack of knowledge about the facts, so I went to people I thought would know the facts. The faculty. Did you watch the Super Bowl this year? No. I thought it was pretty disappointing. I watched part of the Super Bowl, but I didn't really pay attention to the movies. I really don't have a clue. We're going out around asking people around campus uh, what their favorite movie trailer they played during the Super Bowl was. The yearbook. The yearbook? And they had all the infamous people from you know years gone by and had their actual, um, I can't think of it, some baseball, there's a football player or some um, people in there, and they had their yearbook picture. That last guy seemed like he had a good answer, but it turns out that Toyota commercial he was talking about isn't a movie. To get a really good answer, I decided to go to the one guy I knew that would say something great. Hey, Mr. Small, how you doing? Um, not so good. I found out my dog died this morning. Oh. It's like, what was your favorite movie trailer they played during the Super Bowl? Get out. Just... Get out. These interviews are not going really well at all. Some would even say awful. I guess this is how the Patriots felt during the first half of the game. After rekindling myself and playing Zip Zap Zock with the drama kids, I decided the guy was going to get some good answers, no matter what it took. Do you have one? Um, probably Ghost in the Shell. Guardians of the Galaxy. Stranger Things Season 2 trailer on the Netflix. I like the Transformers. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that was probably that one. Guardians of the Galaxy, the new one. Uh, Cure for Wellness, sorry. That's what I want. Yeah. yeah, that's the one I like. These were all good, legitimate answers, but they weren't the correct answer. Luckily, most people picked the right one. Logan. 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 Can you just look in the camera and say the word Logan? Logan. I finally got the answers I was looking for. Even all the people that were doing work quietly in the library agreed with me. It was incredible. Simply amazing. Well, that was fun. Friendships were broken. Friendships were made. And apparently nobody knows that Toyota is not a movie. At the end of the day, we had a lot of good answers. We're all gonna die someday. <laughs> oh man. Thank you guys so much for watching that. You really, you really oh, made the last part. Was oh, that heavy. was a good one. That was a good one. Really I good? Did, that was a good one. Hands down, man. That hands is it hands down? Uh, it's hands up. Hands up. That was a good one. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good one. No, well, thank thank you so much, and thank you for everybody that was involved with it. Thank you so much for everybody that uh, mm. you know decided to actually give us some good answers, and thank you guys for, for uh, cooperating with me. But uh, before we go to a break, uh, what was your favorite movie trailer they played during the Super Bowl? It was probably. My favorite commercial. Mm -hmm. it was well, I mean, no, 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 like trailer. Oh, trailer, trailer. Um, this isn't, this isn't uh, Big Bang Television. Okay, I'm about to tell you right now. I only watched the last quarter of the game. But th that, that's not, really, that's not a movie trailer though. I only watched the last quarter of the game. Well, there's still movie trailers I, playing. I didn't watch any of them. I saw none of them. Oh, you can look them up online. You know. Let me watch them right now. No, no, no. Let me giggle them right now. No, do you have, uh, what was the favorite movie trailer that came out 
after the Super Bowl then? Logan? Hey, you got hey, it right! You got it right. Yay! <laughs> no, but uh, in all seriousness, I did like the Logan That is what you wanted to say, right? Oh, well, it's what I wanted everyone else to okay, say. Okay, I got so it right. I mean, no, but I really enjoyed the Logan trailer a lot. It didn't really give us anything else that we didn't already have. It was just kind of a, you know this funny joke yeah. for us to do on the show. But uh, in reality, I did like the Guardians of the Galaxy one a lot. That was oh, probably that was my favorite. Um, I, I really enjoyed that. Uh, the Pirates yeah. of the Caribbean one sold me a little bit. I'm not too sold on the movie, but um, you know, Transformers. Ma- uh, <laughs> no, not really. I know you love that one. I, I love the Transformers really movies. I mean, it looks good, but I don't think it's going to have any substance to it. But I haven't seen it yet, so I can't really judge it. But guys, in case I didn't get to you on campus, let me know what you think at bbrrequest at nascc.edu. I would love to know what you think about the Super Bowl movie trailers. What do you think about the segment? Was it good? Was it bad? Why didn't I film you in it? Just, hey, let us know. Why wasn't I in it? Ah, because you said you had to work and you didn't want to be in it. Oh, did I use that excuse again? Yeah, you said you didn't want to be in it. Oh. Uh, Did I really say that? Hey, if you want Tyler to be in there, hey, let us know. Yeah. Hey, you might know. Who might about it? You might. Who knows? I mean, you might see him on campus. You might see me on campus. Who knows? Just let us know what you want uh, want us to do. But we're gonna take a really quick break. But when we come back, time for a movie review of the week. We're reviewing Rings. Stay with us, guys. <laughs> Hello, my name is Stuart the Nikon Hawkins, and I'm a DJ here at Nash Community College's Big Bang Radio. So tune in Mondays and Thursdays from 8 to 10 for the wind down. Smooth jazz geared to help you relax from your busy day. Hey guys, welcome back to Big Bang Cinema. My name is Isaac Anderson. And I'm still just Tyler. Still just Tyler. So uh, Mm -hmm. right before the break, we just talked about uh, our movie review of the week. And we both saw the movie Rings. 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 Oh my gosh, I love that movie. Look at that photo. Look at that photo. I did not see that movie. (laughs) Because that girl wasn't in it a whole lot. I was thinking about, like, I thought I had like Frodo and... Well, that's that's the that's the first one. The first one's got Frodo on it. Yeah, that's right. No, but um, yeah. So before we go any further, uh, we got a trailer. All right, so uh, we're gonna watch a real quick trailer, real fast. was a girl. No one dare speak her name. In death, she seeks vengeance for a life filled with pain. Once you see her story, you have seven days to live. Because she does not forget and she does not forgive. Julia, what do you offer? All right, so wow. that kind of depressed me watching that. 
What is that? Echo? <laughs> echo? Echo, Echo. No. Oh, uh, it's gone. No. That's, you're talking about Earth Echo, the fantastic movie that came out a few years ago. I can't believe you remember that movie. No, but uh, I just remember when you said it. Speaking about not remembering movies, what did you think of Rings? Uh, I thought it was good. I was wondering where the Hobbit's at. I didn't see none of them in there, like Frodo, no Bilbo. No, none of that stuff was in this. <laughs> oh, mo- hey, we actually got it. Yeah, that's that's the one. Like, well, how come none of them were in the movie? I, I think you think about it diff- this. They they searching for the ring. That's the guy from the Goonies. The guy from the Goonies. And that's the guy from Mr. Fantastic. That's Magneto. That's the guy from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. And he got his head cut off in, in, in uh, Game of Thrones. But say, Tom Cruise really let himself go. No, that's the guy from Indiana Jones. That's the guy from... Right. No, that's the guy from Lost. All right. Enough the, with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so what did you think of the, uh, the movie we went to go see this week, Rings? I thought it wasn't as scary as the first ones were. It's <laughs> an understatement, isn't it? Yeah. I felt like the, the first two were on a different level, and I felt like this one was just one of those, those cash, last minute cash grabs. Yeah. Like, why is this even a thing? It shouldn't have been a thing. It, it really shouldn't have been. Like, I, I have some uh, stuff written over here, and I have written down. I think this was an attempt to capitalize on, a, on the recognizable name of The Ring, because, I mean, we haven't rebooted it yet. Might as well. And um, I and think it was a really big cash grab that they probably tried to shove in the January, but they didn't have time to. It, it was another horrible perversion of Japanese horror. Yeah, and by the way, that trailer, by the way, we're going to get into spoilers in a little bit later, but we're going to have a banner up. So right now it's non-spoiler. We'll let you know. But uh, yeah, the trailer is so deceiving on, on this part because nothing really happens in this movie. Mm. No, nothing really happens. The plane happens. Remember the plane? The, the plane, plane crashed. Oh, well, I mean, that. Don't, you can't. we can't spoil it yet. Oh. Yeah, sh- well, that movie's already spoiled. I mean, don't go see this movie. But, uh, uh, <laughs> um, oh, we only see movies that Isaac hates. No, no, no. We only see movies that come out during the weekend, and this is not a really good time for movies. But, mm. yeah, this, I, this was a very, um, very bland movie. Not a whole lot happening. It was like toast. Yeah. <laughs> And I, the, uh, Kiva Goldsman wrote it. I think he writes everything, and uh, and yeah, it had the a uh, very Walking Dead slow moving episode vibe, or where they just kind of walked around and didn't do anything for about forty five minutes in the movie. And then fault. Then all the stuff happened last ten. Oh uh, yeah, it, it was it was very disjointed as far as the uh, pacing went. And I don't even remember any of the characters' names, to tell you the truth. Dude, they, how creepy would she crawl out like grab you right now? Yeah, but I they mean... You still think it's pretty creepy. Okay, time to get into spoilers, because I, okay. I can't take this anymore. So, spoiler yeah. warning. Uh, she only shows up, I think, twice in the movie. Mm-hmm. And that's it. And that's not even like a stylistic choice. That was more like a lazy filmmaking choice. See, and uh, a lot of people are talking about, you know, in the first two... Just smash your TV or lay your TV down. She can't, then they prove she could crawl up and get it from the I mean, that, that scene wasn't even that... You know, that you scary? Mean, it was yeah. so, like, bland. bland. That, that, that's the biggest thing i got to give this movie. It's just, it's just so flat and kind of boring. It's so boring. It's a toast. I legit fell asleep during this movie, It's a movie way. version of toast. Because like, you know how toast is, like, lame unless you got jelly on it or a lot of butter or peanut butter or any kind of butter? It didn't even have, like, like these characters are so one-dimensional. And also, this is a minor nitpick, but, I mean, this is... Also, a big thing for me, I'm big on character development, and uh, one of the first things that happens in this movie is um, the main guy and the main girl um, get together, and the guy's going off to college, and they're hugging and said, I know you want to go with me, but you have to take care of your mother, and then all of a sudden, like literally a scene or two later, she's fearing for her boyfriend's life, and she just drives like... 400 miles to go see her and just leaves, her, he right? <laughs> leaves, his, leaves her mother there. Is, is he all Like, right? what about your mom? Did she die? You saw the movie. Yeah. I totally saw that movie. Aww. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, besides it. that, it, this had uh, the, all the little stupid fake-out jump scares and, mm-hmm. that a, a lazy horror movie does where the jump scare mm-hmm. is like, ah! but, I mean, it wasn't really anything to go with it. It was just literally, they're talking on a webcam, and this is before any of the scary stuff happens, so they're trying to set up the characters, 
and so uh, the guy's talking to the uh, his girlfriend on the webcam, and then behind him, woo! Oh, oh it's just, just oh, it's just his friends. You got me in that jump scare right there. You got me. It's just his friends. Hey guys, let's go out and party. And then she's having a dream, and it's like the ring girl. You are her. spoiling the mess out of this. Yeah, well, spoiling. I've lost. I have no idea. I, mean, I saw the movie. I have no idea what you're so talking about. So basically, a bunch of you know generic stuff happens. Uh, Leonard from Big Bane's in there. Rusty Griswold. No, not Rusty Griswold. I thought it was Rusty Griswold. He was in one movie, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the, and the not the original. One. The good one. Let's say Rusty Griswold was in Dark Knight. He was in the good one. Yeah. But um, he, he watched the video, and all of a sudden he's got a club of people that watch this video, and he gets something called a tail for all these people, yeah. and t which means trying to like watch a video, so they make a copy, and so the next one sees it. Because he he's a <laughs> biology teacher that wants to see that afterlife. But they, like, they never go into that. The club makes <laughs> no sense. Like why so would you stupid. make why, like why would you make all these kids watch this video if you're never gonna see the girl like you're if you never see the girl come out of the TV, what's the point of like trying to do this experiment because you're just prolonging everything mm -hmm. if you don't want any of these kids to die it make no sense it frustrated <gasps> me so much in the movie and, theater and the, the whole kind of grudge haunting thing yeah well he's like I, well the whole reason I'm doing this is so I can like it's a portal to the afterlife but if you keep making copies of the movie and getting tales for everybody you're never gonna see her like it doesn't make any sense. Mm. Doesn't make any sense, and you know he, you know he's gone halfway through the movie. They don't explore it anymore. But the main girl, you know, she watches the video because she don't want her boyfriend to die. Oh, you're really and, boring at this. Yeah, and then it, the video is different for her. And Vincent D'Onofrio shows up halfway through and plays a blind guy. <laughs> I remember that. The yeah. kingpin. Yeah, yeah, the kingpin. But yeah. Uh, yeah, and he was in there, and I feel like some one of the executives that made this movie. Probably, uh, the movie was probably already shot, they were editing it, or nearly shot, and they saw this movie called Don't Breathe that came out um, last year. I think it was in August or September. Camera what are you one, doing? Camera one, camera two, camera one, camera okay, two. Okay, but I feel like somebody that was uh, in charge of making this movie. You are spoiling this too bad. It's the whole point. Don't spoil the movies. Don't I'm, spoil. Oh, there's a spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah. I, we, did, right, where have you been the last 10 minutes? It's right here. <laughs> where have this you been? This is a spoiler alert. Look at that poncho. Oh, what you been doing? No, we're, oh, this is so oh, this is weird. But anyway, the movie, I didn't think it was as scary as the first two were. I felt like it was an amalgamation and ripoff of other almost semi-successful horror movies. I saw the grudge haunting, the shower scene, the part, you know, it's just, and, you know, just showing up in mirrors. None of that was in the other two. Well, it's a very rehashed concept, but uh, I think like the whole element of the, the Don't Breathe movie, which I really enjoyed. It's mm -hmm. about a blind man, uh, three people breaking into a blind man's house, and the blind man is like an <laughs> army vet, and he's hunting them down and stuff. And it was really good. It was really well done. I, I and enjoyed this, it. The, it's the guy from yeah, Avatar. Th there's, th yeah, that guy from Avatar, the yeah. general from Avatar plays him. And the whole section of this movie is dedicated to him, and it's a complete ripoff of that movie. Like, just shameless. It's like straight shots, like lifted from that right. movie they into this one. They were shameless, too? No, not, not this one. Was William H. Macy but, in it? But, I mean, like, the whole blind guy going through with the bat and everything, that's straight out of Don't Breathe. Like, mm -hmm. how did... No. That's, like, the laziest thing. It's, it felt so tacked on. It didn't belong in this movie to, be to begin with. This, a lot of stuff in this movie didn't belong in this movie. Yeah, and also the whole, um, the whole fact that, like, in order to get rid of this girl, like, the ring girl... You had to burn her skeleton or something like that. Like, do you remember that part where, like, the, so we had to find her body and we burn it. It was like, well, it's already decomposed. Like, <laughs> what more can you do to it? Uh, you just burn her bones? I thought she pulled it out of the well in the second one. And um, I mean, but this movie didn't make any hit and make any sense. I mean, they used footage like straight from the first one. They didn't even talk about the demon either. The first one is is a much better film. I, if you want to watch one, go watch it, uh, that one. Because this one is just, it's so rehashed of everything and so lazy on the screenwriting part and so lazy as far as like lifting things from other movies. Uh, the acting is really kind of dull. I don't remember any Spoilers. characters. Uh, yeah, and you know, Leonard from Big Bang's in it, yeah. I guess. And he's supposed to be a cool biology teacher. But he's lame. Uh, he, he doesn't have enough screen time to he's have any lame. coolness. It's lame. This movie was lame. And he, it's terrible. I'm done talking yeah. about it. It was lame. It, it, uh, overall, this movie is not very good. It's horrible. Um, Tyler, what are you going to give this movie? Five out of seven. Five out of seven. You didn't even see it? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler didn't alert, I didn't see it. Spoiler alert, you didn't even see it. Because it, it, it played at four o'clock here every day in Rocky Mount, and I had, had to go to work at five o'clock. You had me going so good, too, yeah. man. I got, hey, I got to give you credit for that. Yeah. Good. Pay him. That is true acting. <laughs> yeah, true I acting. I did better than the people True in the movie unpreparedness. Did. 
<laughs> see, you know, they, uh, well, I watched the movie, I noticed the acting was real bad. I just did a whole better job than they did. You didn't even see it. Exactly. <laughs> but them. Yeah, but fuh, fuh, fuh. I saw this movie and wasted my money on it. I'm going to give this one a two and a half out of ten. Actually, no, two out of ten. It doesn't even deserve a half. Two out of ten. Yeah, this movie's uh, lazy. How did this movie not come out in January? Probably because they were going to compete with other January movies. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Also, oh, before we go, yeah, nothing. Oh. The whole trailer, that's, if you want to watch something kind of, you know, oh, that looks interesting, the trailer plays literally every single part that might yeah. be considered scary, but it's not. Nothing. There's no thrills. There's no suspension. There's no tension. Mm. There's nothing in this movie. This movie is completely thing. void, and it's boring. It's the biggest part. It's boring. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's a review about Rings. Tell us what you thought about Rings. Did you like a review? Did you not like a review? Did you not see it like Tyler? Well, uh, email us at... Do you, BB think Isaac, you think Isaac talks too much? I do talk a lot. In a world where some things are beyond legend, they will search for answers. Be prepared. Hang on to your seats. They are going where no one has gone before. Until now. Why are you so close to me? I don't know. Let me back up a little bit. Yo, check out our show on no. Big Bang Radio. <laughs> no, <I can't. laughs> okay. Hey, this is Mike D, inviting you to join me for Ultimate Alternative, Friday at 2 on Big Bang Radio, or anytime on the Ultimate Alternative Podcast. Interrupted by ourselves a little bit right there. Hold on, I'm Googling facts right now. <laughs> Tyler's super into the show, if you haven't noticed. Yeah. No, yeah. guys, we're back with Big Bang Cinema. My name is Isaac Anderson. And I am still Just Tyler. All right, so Just Tyler has compiled a few facts about uh, the predecessor to the movie that we reviewed this week, and it's called... The Ring. The Ring. The Ring. Okay, so... The Two Towers. <laughs> no, 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 we're not, we're not doing a... We're not doing Lord of the Rings anymore, I guess. We're talking about that ring. Oh. The ring. This creepy girl that they rehashed footage from in the new one. I have no idea what you're talking about. No idea what you're talking about? I... Oh, yeah, I remember now. 2002, right? I think it was somewhere around that. Uh, 2003? Was, 2000, was, yeah. uh, I could pull it up. Oh, I'm, I'm really good. I'm usually really good about... 2002, coding. I was good. right. Oh, it's like you read that off your phone. Like I Googled it. Yeah. Oh. So I Google some facts. Anyway, right. you're, you're just admitting to Googling facts and not even researching? This is research. It, you don't that do is, it on air. That is research. That is research. You don't do it right on air. I do it right on air. Okay, well, just, t just tell okay. us. The f uh, first fact, it was, it was a remake of a Japanese horror movie called Ringu. Yeah. I don't know what that means. It sounds like ring and ooh in it, but ringu. <laughs> like, you know, it sounds like Italian like pot, like spaghetti sauce. Ringu. Yeah. Buy, go, you know, go to the store and buy, buy me a bottle of Ringo to put on the pasta, you know? <laughs> Ringo the to pasta. put on the pasta. Okay. But, and uh, then um, 
it, they bought the rights for one million dollars, and the director actually saw a bootleg version that was in like horrible quality. Oh, no and he said the way it was so creepy, leaving the shadows and everything. He was like, I must make the movie as creepy as this bootleg version made it look. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, right look. before we keep going with the facts, let's go ahead and watch the trailer to kind of refresh everybody's memory of what the movie is. Two thousand two, right at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it was Paramount, and it was really good. Um, but yeah, give us some more facts about it, buddy. Okay, another really important fact about this. Mm -hmm. it really scary. <laughs> hey, we got Lord of the Rings up. Oh, there it is. Okay, what you didn't know, this was based off a book series. <laughs> really? Yes. J.R.R. Tolkien. Uh, this one? No, not that one. No. That was based off a Japanese horror movie. Aww. Uh, and surprisingly, the original was not animated. Surprisingly. And Surprisingly. another fun fact, that was Naomi Watts in the movie. She was in a movie? She was in that movie. She was also in Tank Girl, if y'all didn't know that. Okay. So, um, no, the director, Gore, Verbi uh, Gore Verbinski, yes. is that his name? No. He did a lot of other cool stuff, didn't he? I think he was Pirates in Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean? Pirates of the Caribbean. He did a lot of good movies. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I think stuff. he did a lot of producing work too. He did a lot of producing work. He a did lot this. Of he's work. directed this movie called A Cure for Wellness that's coming out pretty soon. That looks pretty interesting. It's mm -hmm. one of my favorite trailers during the Super Bowl. Is, is, the, is that the one about the cancer? Uh, well, <laughs> I don't think you've seen this trailer. No, it's about the you know bad Green Goblin from Amazing Spider-Man Two. Uh, he's you know. He's hooked up to um, go into this place and he gets into trouble. But, you know, uh. look up the trailer when you get the chance. But Gore Verbinski is a really good director. I love his imagery in this movie. Um, it's, it's really, really nice. But give us some more facts. Um, when he saw, first saw the movie, did I talk about this already, about the bootleg version? Uh, yeah, you just talked about that. I talked about the bootleg. It's really creepy. Yeah, but, um, it, gosh, that's all the facts really know about. Really, it. Early oh, facts? The, the, the girl who played Samara in the movie, yeah. the creepy girl, the creepy girl with long black hair. She was Lilo and Lilo and Stitch. Really? And apparently now that girl's smoking looking. She's hot. She's hot. You <laughs> see the picture of her? I saw the picture of her. She's very attractive. Oh, yeah. Look, look for She's really own. attractive. Look, look at her right there, man. She's very nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Can you put it up to the camera so people can see it? Um, no. I just, I just exit out. And it's no, that was just a picture of dir yeah, it's direct TV customer service. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, she, she, she's good looking now. Good looking. Yeah, I thought she was looked really good in this movie, and they just kind of did they rehash her in this new one? I'm pretty that, sure they did. This is actually with her without makeup on. So, but if you see her now, like with makeup, she's really good looking. Look, look at that! Look what makeup does. I mean, yeah, makeup does. Girls, if this teaches you anything, is that you're not beautiful on the inside. You just might as well put on makeup and be beautiful. So you put makeup on. Well, a guy will give you one of these one day. <laughs> That's the whole purpose of the movie. Yes. I love that. Yeah, I saw, totally saw this movie. This is what all the movie this is about. Like a, this is a whole new layer. It's like a seven layer dip, and you just added like eight new layers to it. That I, I put a whole bunch of pintos on top of that bait. This is, is like the most sexist message of any movie I've ever seen. This is, this is a true horror movie. It yeah. ruins people's, it <laughs> ruins people's psychological. Gore Verbinski right here. Gore Verbinski. Oh my goodness. Yes, and well, another fun fact about this. Mm -hmm was I barely remember it. <laughs> I have not seen that movie in years. <laughs>
<laughs> so that was my facts for the week. Well, we should rewatch it. Uh, guys, let us know what you think about The Ring. Uh, did you like it? Did you not? Did you like the new one better? Probably don't like that. But uh, email us at bbrrequest at nashgc.edu. Who knows? You might see, uh, see your stuff on the show one day. Maybe next week. Who knows? But uh, Tyler, thank you for giving us those awesome facts. Yes. And please know it's sarcasm. But uh, yeah, girls, you're beautiful on the inside. Maybe not. Who knows? But uh, <laughs> guys, we're going to take a really quick break. And uh, uh, when we come back, we're going to tell you what's up for next week. Lego Batman. Already done it. Let's go. <laughs> right. Hey, sports fans. We'll remind you guys to tune in every Friday at 3.30 p.m. with Sports with Luke on WNIA Big Bang Radio. Sports with Luke. We'll be breaking down all professional sport events and all your local high school sport events going around the tri area. Don't forget, tune in every Friday at 3.30 p.m. And if we go into overtime, everybody's a winner with Sports with Luke. 3.30 p.m. WNIA Big Bang Radio. Ready, set, hurry. <laughs> What's up? It's DJ Twiz. Be sure to tune in with me every Tuesday at 2 p.m. on WNIA 89.1 FM to catch all your urban music, news, fashion news, and sports every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Make sure you tune in because it will be lit. Like Jackie Chan, buddy. I'm like Jackie Chan. Yeah, you like Jackie Chan. <laughs> All right, they're they're not gonna know anything we're talking about right now. Yeah. But guys, was, welcome back to Big Bang Cinema. My name is Isaac Anderson. And I am still Tyler. Uh, not just. Just still Tyler. <laughs> not just. You even lose the track of your old name. You're like you're <laughs> taking away a word every single time we come back. <laughs> Eventually, you're just gonna be silenced. Like you're gonna be like that. Uh, Silent Bob. No, 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 no. What what was the uh, the movie? Um, uh, the uh, the one where he did the silent song. Louis C.K. directed it. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, oh, Pootie Tang. Pootie Tang, yeah. It was like Pootie Tang's song, the song of silence, yeah. where everybody loved it. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, guys, next week's show is going to be really cool. We're going to have a really fun segment, and uh, we're also going to watch the Lego Batman movie and review it. So uh, we're going to watch a real quick I'm trailer and let you guys know what that is. It looks good. I'm lo yeah. Uh -huh. you know what it it must be great to be Batman. Batman, we love you. Thank you. I'm blushing super hard under the mask. Batman. Pray God. Thanks, Batman. Yeah. I can only imagine he's going home right now to party the night away, surrounded by friends and lady activewear models. Hey, computer. I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. One is the loneliest number that you ever do. Master Bruce, your greatest fear is snakes. No, it's clouds. No, it's being a part of a family again. No, now it's snake clouds because you put that idea in my head. Sir, you need to take responsibility for your life, and it starts by raising the young orphan you adopted. Whee! I thought I was being sarcastic. Hello, sequin camera. We built this city. What? It's the bat cave. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look, it's the bat sub. Oh, don't touch that. The bat zeppelin. Don't touch that either. It's the bat kayak. No. Do I get a costume? I love it, but his pants are just a little tight. I got an idea. It's better. I can only look you in the eyes right now. Hi, Batman. No way. Come, 
catch your greatest enemy. Superman is my greatest enemy. Superman's not a bad guy. Then I'd say that I don't currently have a bad guy. I am fighting a few different people. I like to fight around. Hi, Barbara Gordon, new police commissioner. It's my dream in the police force to team up with Batman. What? Wouldn't that be better? I hate everything you just said. Gotcha. Nice. Initialized master build. Got it. Here you go, my I need a back and back. Yes, we did it. Pretty cool, huh? Why did you build this thing with only one seat? Uh, because last I checked, I only had one butt. Let's go defeat the Joker. Woo! We're going on a family trip. I can wear my costume, too. Well, luckily for us, you left your costume back. Rip. Oh, no, under your clothes. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, that looked pretty good, guys. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I'm really excited to go see this. What about you, Tyler? I'm really excited. I know you are like probably the most excited. It's probably one of the best Batman movie we're going to see in a while. It probably and is, I, man. I stole that right. I know. I too. literally told him that when we were watching the trailer, <laughs> I none stole of you guys it. could hear it. I stole it. <laughs> stole it. But, stole uh, it. Yeah, I really hope this stole movie's it. good. This trailer looked a lot like the Ninjago, uh, Ninjago, Ninjago trailer. Ninjago. Ninjago. Ninjago trailer. Ninjago. It looked like uh, like the Ninjago trailer, like the, the fun Ninjago. song. And it was like, oh, it's remixing Ninjago. the song. Look, we're having fun. But who knows? Ooh. I hope it's really good. But uh, Guys, thank you so much for watching this week. Thank you so much for everybody that was part of the segment. And uh, again, as always, let us know what you want us to do. If you like the show, if you didn't like the show, if you like the segment, if you didn't like the segment, let us know at bbrrequest at nashcc.edu. I will not be reading it. I will, and uh, I'm going to be really excited to hear what you guys think. Maybe you'll see us around campus sometime with a camera. Just look out for us. Make sure you tune in every single week, Thursday from 4 to 5 on uh, YouTube.com. Uh, YouTube.com slash Nashcom College, uh, Studio 6-7 on Facebook. Uh, we live stream every single week and also on 89.1 if you're on the Rocky Mount area all over the radio. But thank you guys so much for listening. We really appreciate you guys watching and listening every single week. My name is Isaac Anderson. And I am Tyler. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's, uh, that's Tyler Keene. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Stay lovely.